Hey y'all, I'm going to show you in the key of A, I'm going to show you some bluesy type riffs where you can kind of combine the flat fifth in the pentatonic minor scale. You can also throw in a major third to kind of spice that up, make it a bit more happy blues kind of sounded. So I'm going to be in A minor, I'm going to start here on this A note. Now most of what I'm going to use to get started is this pentatonic scale. But now if we, if we look down here, we also can go down to that lower position, which would be the fifth position. back in the first position when we come up here and look at it like this. Now we also have this note where I like to use the middle finger to slide up in here. We get into this next position, the second position. So we have these notes into the pentatonic and we can move all these positions together. But we also have this little note. That's the major third. So normally where our scale would have these notes, the one, the flat three, and the four, and the five, we can make a major three, or a natural three kind of thing. So here is the A7 arpeggio. So those are notes are important to know. You got the A, C sharp, that's the major third. You got the E, which is the five. You got the G, which is the flat seven. Back to your A, C sharp, E, G, A, C sharp again. So it's good to know all those notes to make the most of kind of a bluesy feel that you want to get into. So say we got like an A7 type chord, so I might go. So I just stayed in the pentatonic for that, but look at, look at what fingers I'm using. I'm using not the finger here because this is not as strong of a finger for me. I like this finger because it can maneuver things faster. So let's start looking at where the flat fifths are here. We got, there's one. And there's the one I just used a second ago. Now there's another one up here. So being able to use those flat fifths will spice up your playing. That gives you a more kind of out there sounding kind of bluesy effect. So we got. So what I did, I just used that note real quick. You don't want to hang on it too long unless you unless you really want it to sound kind of far out. So let's look at some more stuff. There was that little half step again right there. So now we see all those three in a row. So this is seven, eight, nine, there would be the same as that seven, eight, five. So as you can see, you can kind of you could do it either way, but here you're kind of in that same basic first position. It kind of gives you access to more easy notes to do things with. Okay, now we need to look at this major third. So that's that happy sounding note from a major chord. So most of the stuff we're doing is kind of from a minor position. Minor pentatonic fits with that, right? minor tonality but you can also the great thing about blues is you can kind of mix the major in there unless it's a really strongly minor progression a lot of times it's kind of a mixture of that's what a dominant seven chord is in effect is a mixture of major and minor so you have the major third but you have the flat seven from a minor scale mixed together so that's that's that twangy sound you get from a dominant seven chord so it's good to if it does have that dominant seven kind of thing to it, it's really good to make use of that major third. See, that, that's the minor third. This is the major third. I go back to my root there. So just doing that, that little one note to the next note effect brings out the sound of a dominant seven chord because you're going from minor to major right within that one little quick slide. And of course, we've all heard things like... So what's happening there is you got basically a minor chord, part of the minor seven of A. But when you hammer that note in there, that's a major three. So now you've made that thing sound more happy than it was before. So you've created like a bluesy effect just within that one thing. So there's lots of cool blues songs that have that kind of thing. So I'm gonna 
I'm gonna improvise a little bit more and now I'm gonna use the major third so you can kind of see how that works. So, see that, bringing out that little happy note? So this is the more of the minor side. But if I want to get more major in there, now I'm going to go into the arpeggio. So instead of just doing the arpeggio, I can do that little hammer thing and it creates that effect, creates that bluesy effect. And it's cool when you have an extra note in there too, you can get a little chromatic riffs going on. And it's good to know where that thing is in each position. So like say down here, That's like my A minor pentatonic notes. But it's good to know where your root is, where your flat three is, your four is, and where your major third is, so that you can hit that. So you got. There's another new spot. So we have this, if we had this note down here, minor third to major third, it's the same on the big string, obviously. See that? If I want a happy note, I got to get that guy. But if I don't need it, I leave him hanging with that minor. Where I want. Depends whether you want happy or whether you want dark. Here's another cool little trick. So this is a minor pentatonic. When you get in the second position. But if you take that same kind of shape, now you have just shifted to a major pentatonic scale. And you're in what's called the BB box. So the same kind of shape that got you this minor thing kind of slides you up and you're in the BB box. Now you have the one, the one note, the root note, the A, with your first finger here. And when you do that kind of a bend, you're making a happy kind of a sound. That's another little BB King thing. So if you were in the major pentatonic, you'd have this ninth fret here. But the 10th fret sounds really good coming off of this bend. It's like slightly out of the scale, but it sounds really great. Because if you're going to add, you could use those two notes and make kind of a major scale. So that's kind of why that works. And I like to pull off to that E there because that's part of that A minor pentatonic scale, that open note. So you really want to know eventually as you get into this guitar stuff um, how to change positions and then also like what open strings are in that scale too. I mean you want to know that kind of stuff like so in this key of A minor pentatonic that open E is in there right like this B is not it'd be that C note because the notes of A minor pentatonic are A C D E so this C would so I'm kind of throwing a lot in here on this one but another thing is I think everybody should know where the flat fifth is in every position so maybe say we're in um here's our first position of A minor with the flat fifth. But look at down here. So we knew we had that six here, right? So And that 
note, the special note is a D sharp in this case, or an E flat. So down here we have a D, we have an E, and that's our E flat. So it happens again. So once again, we have an E flat here. So the same way that you want to know those flat fifths everywhere, you want to know where that major third is. You can use them together, you know what I mean? That's the great thing about a dominant seven and kind of a blues feel is you can mix all these things together. Remember that thing we did up here? That's the same thing here. You're shifting it into a major pentatonic. All right, y'all. Dominant seven, that was the key of A for that one. Hope y'all enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Take care.